We're gonna get the trucks in a moment. Get the trucks in a moment. All right. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the to the welcome to the Tesla semi truck event. I hope you like what you see. I'm gonna tell you about everything that this this truck can do. Um, it, it blows my mind. I think it'll blow yours. Starting with performance. So we have a, an acronym we came up with um, that uh, I think really, really describes the performance well. So it's a tech technical term, but let's show you what that means in in acceleration. So. One thing that we care about Tesla is we really care about performance. We want, it, we want a, a vehicle that feels incredible, that accelerates like nothing else. Uh, let's show what the, the truck, uh, what, what it's like to be in a Tesla truck. This is real time. Okay. So that's the, the Tesla. The Tesla Semi will go zero to sixty in five seconds. So that, that's by itself or with a trailer. Now at eighty thousand pounds max gross vehicle weight. That's the most amount of weight you can carry on a U.S. highway. This is the real time acceleration of a Tesla Semi. That uh, on the left, the thing that looks like it's not moving is a diesel truck. Just gonna give it a moment. I'm sorry to bore you. I apologize. Boring. I know. Eventually it'll get there. Alright. Even with 80,000 pounds pulling max gross, getting 60 miles an hour in 20 seconds. That's what it can do. Now, what about up a hill? Okay, the, the best diesel trucks can only do 45 miles an hour up a 5% grade. Tesla Semi can do 65 miles an hour up a 5% grade. <laughs> That's 65 miles an hour continuous at max gross. What this means is that if, you've got a, if you're pulling a load over the Rockies or some mountainous terrain up a hill, you're earning per mile. You're earning 50% more per mile than you are in a diesel truck. That's a gigantic difference. So, uh, now one of the biggest questions we've been asked about uh, electric trucks is, well, how far can they go? Because, well, let's find out. So, 500 mile range. But what does a 500 mile range mean? And by the way, it's 500 miles at maximum weight at highway speed. So you're doing like 60 miles an hour. That's a worst case scenario. But what it means is that since because the vast majority of routes, because the vast majority are, are, are under 250 miles, it means that you can go to your destination and back even if your destination has no charging, you can, you can go there and back, go there and home with, without recharging. So you could, you could deliver a load uh, out to the middle of nowhere and come back. Now how do we achieve this? One of the th ways we do this is we design the Tesla truck to be like a bullet. So whereas a normal diesel truck is designed more like a barn wall, this is a bullet. You can see this in the drag coefficient. So the Tesla Semi has a 0.36 drag coefficient. The way well, this is a really good number. <laughs> As a, by way of comparison, a, a Bugatti Chiron, which is a $2 million supercar, has a 0.38 drag coefficient. So it's got a better drag coefficient than a supercar. 
And by the way, we, <clears throat> yeah. By the way, we, you can see that in the design. Um, the, uh, part of the way we achieve that is with the bullet shaped nose. We also have side flaps that map to the, whatever trailer you're pulling, whether it's a new trailer or old tra trailer, the, the side flaps will map to whatever trailer you're, you're pulling and close the gap. So uh, this, this makes a huge difference to the drag coefficient. Uh, the, the bottom of the truck is also completely flat, so the air can flow straight through. Uh, these are things that you don't see on any other trucks, and it gives us incredible highway range. It's one of the key factors. We also have uh, four independent uh, motors. On, so there's a, there's a motor on each of the rear wheels and an independent front, sus front suspension, so it's incredibly comfortable to, to drive this truck. Yeah. Well. <laughs> and then we just. For, for interest's sake, we created uh, a pickup truck version of the Tesla Semi. It's a pickup truck that can carry a pickup truck. <laughs> so, no. By the way, this is, you, you can legally drive that. <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be legal, but um, <laughs> um, <laughs> you'll actually be able to legally drive that with a normal driver's license. It's kind of wrong, but I like it. Um, now, what about the driver experience? What does it feel like to drive this truck? It's amazing. <laughs> um, because this truck has no gears, it's, there's no, uh, you're not constantly shifting gears. It has one, one gear, so it's, it's, it's smooth. It's like, driving, it's just like driving a Tesla. It's as though you're driving a Model S or Model X or Model 3. Um, it's just big. It's a, really, it's super easy to drive, and it feels incredibly responsive. It's unlike any truck that you've ever driven. Um, and, and the point of view that you have is also incredible. We, we put the driver in the center. So... The driver's actually in, in the center of the truck. You're positioned like you're in a race car. Um, you have complete visibility of the road and all the surroundings. It's a, it's a beautiful, spacious interior. You can stand up inside. It's got redundant screens. Uh, and it's, it, it, it just feels incredible to drive this. It's one of the best feelings it's, it's, so, it's incomparably better than, than, another, than any other truck on the road. You really have to drive it to understand just how good that feels. I, I can drive this thing, and I have no idea how to drive a semi. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a, few, look, take a few more shots of the interior. Just gives you a sense. By the way, we also have like... <laughs> also, there's a, little, there's a little trunk in the front. Why not? We'll throw that in there. <laughs> As compared to, uh, I don't want to hurt your eyes, but that's what a diesel truck looks like today. It's a clutter of third-party devices. It's very difficult to use. It requires uh, integration, installation. These things don't talk to each other. It's, it's, a, it's a pain in the neck. Uh, it has significant add-on significant add costs, whereas a, the Tesla Semi, all of this is included. It's included in every, in every truck. Everything just works. Yeah. The, the moment you get the truck, it's got everything. Yeah. And it'll seemingly, it'll seamlessly integrate with, with all the fleet systems, the things that are really important uh, to, to the trucking industry. So what about you know, fueling today? If you're fueling a diesel truck, you've got fumes, spills, toxic environment, prices change all the time. Um, and what a lot of people don't realize is, is it actually t it takes up to 15 minutes or more to actually fill a, a, a truck. You have to sit there for 15 minutes while the, the tank gets filled. As compared to charging a, a, a Tesla truck, you can charge at your origin or destination. So while, while you're unloading your cargo, you can charge. <laughs> <laughs> 